Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquay of Living Streams International. We meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts in just the two words that everybody else knows, true or false. I realized something in John 18, 29 and 30, I realized that there was quite an interesting debate concerning Jesus. And that debate had to do with accusations. A lot of accusations were leveled at Jesus. My goodness. And, and some of the accusations that were, were, were labeled at Jesus was, was, was interesting. I mean, the, they called him uh, a wine barber. That means he's sitting in the wine bars or, or he's, he's made his bedroom uh, in the wine cellars. And, and uh, he's a friend of prostitutes because a woman, you know, came to wash his feet with her hair and broke an alabaster box of oil. I mean, and uh, all, all sorts of things. I mean, the accusations were flying left, right, center. And, you know, I mean, live, if Jesus was living in these our times, it would be very, very interesting. I mean, because, whoa, I mean, he would make the press, he would make the social media, he would, he would make all the distance. And all these accusations that he's this, he's that, he's this, he's that, he's this, he's that. And now people, and you'd be very, very surprised that there'll be a debate going on in the minds of people, and he's being tried in the minds of people, and most of them time it's a kangaroo court because the facts are not all equal the legs are longer and the and the hands are short and s some of the things that were being labeled at him if you look at it very carefully it was true i mean he, he goes to a wedding feast in cana of galilee and um, and turns water into wine mm. that's where water that's where wine begins to flow so he's a wine bible you know, that is a he, he's a drunkard then the next thing that you know, he's a friend of prostitutes, it looks like true because a woman, I mean, who uh, was a prostitute comes to a, a, a party in which he's sitting and then breaks a, a very costly um, 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 b box of oil, you know, and then pours it at, at his feet and then uses her hair to clean. His, his, his feet. And in the minds of people, there will be a lot of debates going on. Those who knew him closely knew that he wasn't like that. But those who didn't know him would, would be thrown into the valley of speculation. And then they'll begin to add uh, uh, 1 plus 5 is equal to 4. You know, and, and all those other things. They'll begin to do their mathematics or their arithmetics of speculations. And they'll begin to do their uh, probabilities and then their progressions and all the things that, that comes with it. And they'll try to bring up uh, empirical data or statistical uh, formulas why the things being said are true but you know one of the things then you know, jesus christ a leader with all these accusations coming against him but there's one single fact not all accusations are true and you you you, you the leader you, you have a responsibility of um go around firefighting everything Go around, try to fight fight in the minds of people. Try to answer everybody. Or try to prove that yeah, this thing they are saying is not true. And it's, it's time wasting. Because it will never stop. And there are some people, whether you like it or not, they are going to walk in the valley of prejudice. No matter what you do. So sometimes you just need to ignore it and keep going. Just make sure that what is being said is not true. That is the most important thing. So you know what? Not all accusations are, are, are true. That's just the fact of life. And so sometimes, you don't, don't be bothered too much when the accusations come flying. I know, as human beings, we tend to respond and react to it because some of the things that are being said might be pretty damning uh, things and they may be pulling up evidences even from thin air. But guess what? The most important thing, keep your focus, keep concentrating. Because some of these accusations can be distractions from your main purpose and from your main goal. And if you're going to spend time dealing with it, you're going to, it's going to be time wasting. Some of them hurt, but keep going. 
They might, it, because all they may seek to be doing is to distract you from your main purpose. Don't be distracted by accusations. Because sometimes some of the accusations are still, whether I like it or not, they'll still be walking in the valley of true or false. And I believe that some of the, I believe that it is possible that some of them may be true, or some of them, or majority of them may be false, or my hold a semblance of truth, but in actual fact it is not so. Listen, don't be fixated with accusations. That's what I'm trying to do. They are all swimming in the valley of possibilities. Move on and concentrate on what God has asked you to do. And God bless you. See you.